Senator Kerr, how do you relate President Kennedy's thrilling inaugural address to the state of Oklahoma? Well, I think the President's inaugural address had both a general application and relationship to Oklahoma and a specific one. First, I thought it was a magnificent, eloquent appeal to the nations of the world, friend and foe alike, to start anew in finding a formula whereby nations can live together in peace and work together uh, for the progress of the people in all the countries in the world. And there's nothing in which Oklahomans are more interested uh, than in our country being able to develop an environment of peace. Now certainly, I think it would be a mistake for us to think we're going to eliminate the Cold War or uh, bring a solution to our international problems. But at the same time, the attitude and the eloquent appeal for a, for a new beginning, uh, in my judgment, will be effective. And I think it will give hope to the peoples of the world. And I think we'll be able to make progress in the direction which we all desire so much. And if that's true, <coughs> that'll improve the environment not only in our country and the world, but for Oklahomans. And then I liked what he had to say about the development of our resources. We're especially interested in that in Oklahoma. Uh, we have had the President Kennedy in Oklahoma several times. He has written to thousands of Oklahomans in which he has told uh, our people that he will work with us in the development of our natural resources as a part of the overall development of our country. So I think that while in the future we'll have uh, messages from the president of direct relationship to Oklahoma, I think Oklahomans had a lot to gain from his eloquent, stirring uh, inaugural address when he was sworn in.